I love playing games and I needed a break from game dev. Earlier this month, after submitting my first commercial game to Steam Next Fest, I decided to try and play some demos. That's when I discovered a cute cozy little management game that gathered a lot of attention this past weeks, Minami Lane. The game will be out later today and the team was kind enough to give me a key a few days ago to try out the official version. Minami Lane is a collaborative effort of a French couple of developers Dorian and Dorian, as well as a musician Antoine. Dorian is the developer of a game called Froggy's Battle and they also made a great ludendary game called Poda Wants a Statue that helps define the isometric Japanese-inspired hand-drawn art style as well as the light management of Minami Lane. You will be guided in this relaxing adventure by a cute little tanuki. If you don't know what a tanuki is, think about a raccoon, but more Japanese. Or think about Tom Nook in Animal Crossing. Minami Lane is a cute cozy game where you manage a street by adding buildings and listening to what the villagers think and want. In the story mode, you have 5 missions to complete, each with a list of specific goals to achieve. You are free to complete those goals in multiple ways and you can also complete optional objectives for more challenges. Your main metrics are the beauty of your street, the villagers' global satisfaction and the money you earn each day. At the beginning of each day, you can build a new shop or a new house to attract more villagers, you can upgrade your buildings and you can also craft your shops the way you want. You can choose, for example, what flowers to put in a bouquet, what books to sell in a library, or how much cream you want in your tea. You can build a lot of different shops, such as a ramen shop, a bookstore, a florist, a boba shop, and many more. Shops you create will need your input to offer the right products at the right prices to the right customers. During the day, you can click on villagers to get their opinion on what's being sold in the shops and what they think about the general vibe of the streets. Most of it is very useful, for example, you may get some suggestions on how to tweak your ramen recipes in order to satisfy more young customers. Young people will always prefer low prices, while older villagers won't trust it when something is too cheap. Villagers will offer helpful feedback on how to improve and if you memorize their preferences, you can refine your street accordingly the following day until it's perfect. You should also pay attention to the beauty of your street. Indeed, beauty is really important because that's what attracts cats. The more beauty you have, the more cats you attract in your street. And then you can pet them and get some rewards. After some time, you unlock random events each day. And I must say, I had a ton of love with this. Basically, each day, you can read the newspaper to learn if something specific is happening in town and how it will impact your street, from your shop sales to how many cats will show up. I believe it is fully random as well, so if you replay it, you won't have the same events on the exact same days. It can change the way you play and add more variety and more replayability, which is always a very good point. I played Minami Lane for 3 hours straight and I didn't see the time pass. If you enjoy wholesome and cozy games, I think you will really like this one, so don't hesitate to go buy it in a few hours when it's out. It's only $5, so in my opinion that's a really great deal, and you will support free talented indie game developers. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next one! Bye!